roast in hot or mild? Roasting the public show. Is it hot or it might mild? Be hot. So it's a medium hot chili. Cool. Uh, if you want to know more about it, you have to talk to that guy over there. He's read it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you'll learn plenty about that today. Not to be. Why is it so special? Why is it so special? It's because it, it was it broke, uh, kind of fed and developed here. And so it, it was originally came into the area in Pueblo in about 1900. Lovely smell of fried oh, chilies. In the cast. I would get I got an answer. How long did it take to come up with this design and are you still tweaking it hey. as you go along? <laughs> um so I don't know if everybody heard her question. She asked when we designed these and how long it took us and whether we're still tweaking them. Um the answer to that is we did not design them. A very good friend of ours did. His name was Pete Jaidon. He passed away back in 2001. Um, and he designed these for the purpose of creating a restaurant material uh, used chili. So he designed them. He had probably four or five prototypes that he threw away because they didn't work how he wanted. <laughs> and he finally came up with this. So these roasters, we roast the, your chili and we peel them. When we're all done here and we, we're eating chili, they'll be 95% of the peel gone. So when you guys go take this home, you don't have to sit there for three hours peeling them. Yeah. Complaining and thinking, why, why do I like this so much? Since then, since he passed away, we took over his business, and we have grown it into creating more retail packages. Where we offer a two-pound package for you guys to buy for your house. Um, we've also created a non-stop roast. So it goes in one end fresh, comes out the other, roasted, peeled, and wow. in about 10 minutes. Ooh. That's not here, I'd show you, but it's not here. Oh. Um, so that's kind of the story behind these. We now have 12 of these machines, so they work pretty good. And why do you close it down midway through the cooking process? So that, what that does is the chili gets, you know, the skin gets charred and black. And when we spray it down the first time, that steam is what we're looking for. That steam blisters that skin. And it takes some of it off, not a whole lot. But then on the second row, 
the rest of that skin just flies right off. No. So if you want to look at it now, there's hardly any skin on there. Oh, oh wow, yeah. Ooh, that looks oh, so that tasty. Looks, that looks so mm. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, sorry. Oh. I believe you're going to see them today, Musos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they have what they call a chili room, and they make a lot of homemade items. They have been trying for probably eight to ten years to use that juice to make candles. So you can burn a candle and your yeah. house can smell like chili. They haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> They're still working on it. Oh, God. I don't know. The new pumpkin spice. Right, right. Very <laughs> I know. I agree 100%. <laughs> um, most of the Mexico's chili um, that they produce, that they raise, is for dry chili or red chili. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, they do a little bit of roasting, but so. not like oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they do. Are the red chilies different uh, variety, or did they start off as uh, red chili? The red chili, so as chili matures, it turns red or yellow, depending on the variety. Mm -hmm. Um, when they do mature like that, they get sweeter. Not hotter. Not hotter. They get sweeter. But there are different varieties, like the chima, chimayo chili, is it? Yeah, well, there's some varieties that you know, yeah. get red. Um, most of them we grow here are all green like this, and then mm. as they mature, they turn red. But you usually don't let them mature that much. You pick them before. We try, right? we try to get about a 60-40 mix. That's the best. Oh, okay. Chili to cook with is a mixture of the green and the red oh, because it gets the hot and the sweet. But hmm. Awesome. Good to know. Are you able to recycle the water somehow, or is it just? No, we do not do that. One for food safety. Yeah. Salmonella. Ta -da! Yay! So if anybody would like to try one, 